Data collection. Data are always crucial in research. These are the information collected from the different sources such as people, events, places, books, records, etc. Data are collected for an inquiry depending on research objectives and questions. And the tools which are used to collect data are called as data collection tools. And the procedures are called data collection methods. Data collection tools and methods resembles each other. As a process observation is method, and checklist is tool for data collection during observation. So, we can say that data collection is defined as the procedure of collecting, measuring, and analyzing accurate insights for research using standard validated techniques. A researcher can evaluate their hypothesis based on collected data. The main purpose of data collection is to verify the research hypothesis. The data are needed in research work to serve following purposes. Collection of data is very essential in any educational research to provide a solid foundation for it. It is something like the raw material that is used in production of information. Quality of data determines the quality of research. It provides definite direction and definite answer to research inquiry. Data are collected to verify hypothesis. Data are needed to provide solution to problem. Data collection can be either primary or secondary. Primary data collection is gathering of raw data directly at the sources of data. It gives an original data collected by researcher for a specific purpose. Secondary data collection is referred to as gathering of second-hand data collected by an individual who is not the original user. Primary data collection Primary data, also known as raw data, is the data you collect yourself and are the first person to interpret. It's data that's gotten directly from the source. That could be in-person interviews, surveys sent out to your audience, or even courses. Put another way, you're the first person or group to interact with and draw conclusions from the data. Primary data is usually collected with a specific goal in mind but can be more challenging for the researcher to interpret. That's because the data is unstructured and needs to be arranged in a way that allows you to make meaningful decisions. Secondary data collection Secondary data refers to information you use which has been collected, analyzed, and structured by another person or group. Things like research papers, books, other websites, etc. can be considered primary data that, when used by you, are secondary data. This type of data is much easier to collect and use but it may not be as applicable to your situation. During your research, it's crucial that you pick the right method for collecting data. Since data collection is costly, you can't afford to be haphazard about it. Choosing the right data collection method will ensure that you collect relevant, high-quality data. When selecting a data collection method, consider the type of information you're looking for, as well as the time frame over which you are going to collect it. Once you've settled on a particular method of data collection, find an efficient way to store your data, and regularly check on your data collection progress. If conditions change during the data collection process, you will need to make appropriate updates to your method. Qualitative data collection Qualitative data is information that's descriptive in nature. It's used to understand and characterize a problem, sentiment, or an individual slash group. It can be recorded and measured but cannot be quantified using numbers. For example, you can record that someone is unhappy and measure the level of unhappiness using descriptive words, but it can't be quantified. This kind of primary data is gathered using interviews, open-ended survey questions, etc., and can be used to answer the question why. Secondary data can be gathered from first-hand accounts such as a journal. Quantitative data collection Quantitative data is information gathered in numerical form and, as a result, can be easily ordered and ranked. This data is necessary for calculations and further statistical analysis. Just like with qualitative data, 
The information derived here can be used to make decisions in a personal or business setting. Quantitative data is easier to handle and measure because it's not open to different interpretations. For example, if you ask someone how many times they've gone to the gym this week, there's a simple numerical answer. If you ask someone why they went to the gym, their answer can be interpreted in different ways depending on who's analyzing it. Primary quantitative data is gathered using close-ended survey questions and rigid one-on-one -on -one interviews. Secondary data can be gathered through published research and official statistics. Quantitative data answers the questions how much, how often, and how many. Introduction to Research